So for today's Learning Creative Learning, I think the title we chose was Reimagining Education. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the idea was to build upon the previous weeks where we focused on the four P's of projects, peers, passion, and play, but then to see how can we try to put those into practice, another P, mm -hmm. putting them into practice, we have to rethink and reimagine what education is about. Yeah, and if you look at some of the conversations in the discussion forum right now, it's almost people are already starting to tinker mm -hmm. with education. So it's not just reimagining, but actually creating some you know prototypes and in a playful way, sharing them with others, yeah. reflecting on it. So yeah. and it's nice, but in some of the activities, people were just tinkering with technology. But we want to think about tech tinkering at a broader scale. Mm -hmm. That it's tinkering with approaches and strategies. Uh, you know, towards towards learning and education. But one reason we wanted to have this session, which we didn't really have last year, was because we felt like a lot of people were feeling like, okay, these ideas sound great, but how do we actually mm -hmm. do this? If I'm a classroom teacher, how do I apply these ideas? Mm -hmm. So we wanted to really try to focus on that and even spend a couple weeks on that yeah. of people wherever they are taking the ideas any or all of the four P's, the creative learning spiral, and see how does this apply? And like you said, tinker with it mm -hmm. in your work or practice yeah. or home. Yeah. Yeah, and I think there are lots of different ways that people can reimagine and tinker with learning and education. Sometimes people think that they have to turn the whole system upside down. And of course, trying to make radical change to the system is one approach. Mm -hmm. But there are also more incremental ways that people can start approaching. Like you don't have to you know, address all four P's at once, but now choose one of them and say, like with projects, how could I add a more project oriented and oriented approach sure. to whatever I'm doing? Um, yeah. And also, I think you uh, brought up the example of the 20% at Google, mm -hmm. uh, where you don't have to change everything about the class, but you could try to reserve a little space for students to work on projects or to work with peers or to work on things that they're particularly interested in and then see what happens there and then build on that. And so I think by creating spaces for experimentation, either through taking time or doing it after school or like finding the spaces where it's safe to experiment and then trying out new things there, that might be a good approach. I think experimenting is the key. Uh, and, try, and as you said, find a safe space for experimenting where you can try something. And then after you establish that you get interesting things happening, try to see how you can spread exactly. from there. But you said safe, but I think one thing I've been struck uh, by is when we've been hearing people say, taking a risk. Yeah, and, sure, and you're right. And like sure. Adriano, like, I wasn't sure. The different people who've in the discussion forum said, like, yeah, I wasn't sure, but I decided just go take materials out and, and try this. Yeah, yeah it's true. Know. I don't, I don't mean safe as in not risk taking, but more <laughs> like you don't get fired okay, okay, <laughs> if it doesn't good. work okay, out. That's good. That's a good but a lot of times people don't even think that they could could do this and, exactly. and yeah. just just step outside of the uh, what's expected. And a lot of times you can take try new things that you wouldn't have imagined. So I mean, so I think in, in today's session we'll try to hear from some uh, the way some other people have mm -hmm. done this. I think we, one thing we've seen through the course last year and this year. We've seen some people that from the discussions and learning creative learning have started to bring that back mm -hmm. into their own you know, practices. Uh, so I think we'll hear a little bit from some case studies of how people have already been doing and that. And some it really is, it's like literally tinkering, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Also using Scratch, but then um, with Sherry and Cynthia taking it in a whole other direction that we hadn't thought. So it could be very literally mm -hmm. um, taking things or more like they talk about symbolically making, playing with this whole spiral. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the four Ps. Yeah. And then we'll have a breakout group where people can talk about their ideas. Yeah, longer, and we'll, a longer breakout. And, and this week yeah. what we're trying to do is a longer live wrap up at the end with uh, possibly a special performance <laughs> by by the three of us. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of this is laying the foundation for it. There's still a few more weeks where yes. we're going to encourage people to try out some things in your you know, own you know, areas of, of, of work and areas of practice. And then we'll be reporting back on that and having an exhibition yeah. of some of those ideas. And we'll say more about that towards the end. Yeah. Yeah.